everyone, Five Farley here, January 3rd, it is Thursday, uh, happy Thursday everybody. Coming off a loss here, a little disappointed uh, in Memphis last night, back and forth, back and forth with Detroit. Congratulations to the Pistons, though. That's the uh, fourth time they've beat Memphis in the last 18 tries, so uh, good for them. Uh, on the road, winning in Memphis um, on a back-to-back -back night. I mean, they had a lot of things stacked against them. I was feeling pretty good about that Memphis pick, but... Uh, uh, did not come through, in fact, losing outright. So looking to bounce back today. Unfortunately, it's not the best day to bounce back with only three games on the card to pick from. And we got some good games, though, um, one of which has been noted Spurs, Raptors, Kawhi Leonard coming back to uh, San Antonio. You know, if I had to take a pick in this one, I would say San Antonio. San Antonio is tough to go against at home, 15-5 and five at home. So really, you got to have a good game plan to go against them. Um, on the road, Raptors are hot. They can do it. They have the, the talent to do so. Uh, but uh, I lean Spurs in that one. But let me get to uh, best bet of the day here in just one second. First, let me say thank you to subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. I appreciate it. And uh, follow along, follow the other picks, check out my other videos. NCAA Best Bet is out there. Uh, FCS Championship game is out there. Um, check around uh, NFL playoffs coming out. Uh, so feel free to check those out. Um, and again, don't forget to subscribe. All right, so let's get into what I think is the best bet of the day. And that's going to be uh, Golden State hosting Houston here. So it's not taken aside. This total is set at 225 and a half. Uh, opening has been bet down to 225. Um, I think the under is the best play here, uh, and here's a couple reasons why. So last year, uh, these two teams faced in the playoffs. Uh, they had a seven-game uh, playoff run, of which this line would have only gone over one time in those seven games. Um, you know, when it comes down to it. This is not, uh, many of the games weren't even close, didn't even breach 200, let alone 225. Earlier this season, these two teams faced, um, in which you got, uh, let me see where go, there it is. It ended up at a 193 total. Um, and one of the reasons why is both of these teams live and die by the three-pointer, but they're also very good at defending the three. Golden State uh, finds himself at number five defending the three-point uh, holding opponents to 33.8%. Houston uh, is number seven in the NBA at 34%, holding opponents uh, and even better on the road down to 31.9%. Uh, meanwhile, Houston, 40% of their offense goes through the three-pointer. Uh, now missing Chris Paul, I do think this is going to be a challenge in Golden State, who does a really good job of keying in on James Harden, who's been on a hot, hot run going for his, what, ninth straight game over 35 points. Uh, last person to do that, LeBron James. Um, I it's only been down a handful of times uh, since the 70s. So, uh, you know, it's an impressive run. Um, but I think it comes to an end here in this game against Golden State. I think Golden State wins this one pretty easily. I think they'll score about 112 to 115, while Toronto uh, just scrapes to get to 100. So 225, I think, is too high. I will take 225 under as the day's best bet in the NBA. Good luck, everyone. We'll see you again soon.